Hey guys, and welcome back to Track Yards. I'm Captain Foley. I am Commander Cockins. Stuart, we're back on Discovery. We are. Sort of. And, yes. Well, yeah, we saw a lot of great stuff at San Diego Comic-Con, and something that we haven't really touched on yet, that I've, you know, it was one of the better pieces of tech from Star okay. Trek, and we saw it, and I'm looking forward to talking about it right now, and that, of course, is the tricorder. You're bleeping all over, all over Stuart. Is that, no, I'm not. Is that I'm a not, dial I'm not. Oh, okay. Yes, the That's tricorder. Just, I'm just getting readings that there's a new tricorder available, and oh, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I was very curious how they were going to approach this mm. as, yeah. Anyway, I think they did a pretty cool job. I love the big display screen. Mm -hmm. um, they've kept true to the TOS one somewhat. They've got like a grid on the side there, which is very reminiscent of this here. Right? Da -da 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 -da. They got the three buttons, although they are up and down here. And they have also managed to tie in the uh, JJ verse tricorder. See that big round button in the middle? I honestly don't. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Honestly, didn't remember what the JJ version looked like at all. Yep. And it's got a big button oh. exactly the same right there. That's sad. Yep. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, this is actually kind of a cool tricorder. I don't mind the tricorder for JJ. It's very, this one's just a small toy, but... Anyway, I thought it was worth pointing that out because not a lot of people might realize that, but it's the first thing I saw when I saw it. It took away from the TOS aspects of it for me, so... I don't know. I like it still, but... <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts And, on and just this? to reiterate, our, our problem is because the JJ Abrams films, that you know the whole, the whole aesthetic the whole pitch was to make it look different something else. You know, take the original and then push it far, far away. So by linking to that, you're linking something that's less Star Trek than the Prime and what should be at the era. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean the, the, the the communicator, which we can see, is, is was very good. The phaser was very good. The rifle I liked because it's old feel, you less so. Yeah, the tricorder, I think, I mean, in terms of what we had said, very, very long, Stuart, what they could and should do is take the same shape of the old tech so it looks almost identical from a distance or up close but suddenly you flip it open or you turn it on and the internals are different and more advanced and mm -hmm. both in this picture both the communicator has that feel and the tricorder has that feel it looks the same shape if you hold up the TOS one again I mean you can see exactly the pieces it's 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 taking from um, you know it's, yeah. it's clearly been inspired clearly using that to create something a bit more Functional, maybe with you know, obviously the big screen is a natural thing. Yeah. Um. It, it's it's. I mean, the TOS one has even more detail to it. In in a sense, you can sort of see well that that is a piece that does something. That piece does something. In this one, you've got three buttons, one button, a grill, some chains like a like a like a like a wristwatch chain, which I don't understand, and then a, a big I thing. Think in those the are just other other buttons. Oh. I, I okay. I didn't even saw those buttons. That's weird. I probably should have. Huh. Uh, oh, they could they could tie into these the data disk things possibly. Okay, oh the data disks. Ooh, that's cool. Um, Maybe yeah. and some great side details. So it's a very simple prop, but clearly, yeah, clearly reminiscent of that. I give them all props for this prop. Ah, you give them props. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I do as well. Like I said, there was a lot of visual tie-ins for the TOS, but then the the JJ one as well because a lot of the stuff in Discovery is very kelvin esque inspired which has a lot of people worried mm -hmm. but um anyway then there's this little gad doohickey which i mean yeah. really you can't change this too much so that's pretty much spot on mm -hmm. so uh, yeah and, and like we said we, we've sort of given up this is meant to be a, a true prime timeline show i mean yeah. nothing nothing is as it should look in the era some things are getting closer than other things, but nothing is as it should look, really, unless every, every single piece of kit is, like, 30 years old, which then evolves into TOS. Um, but obviously, you know, some people don't want the 60s look, but Star yeah. Trek is this big timeline, you know, make it a parallel universe, then you can do whatever you want, as JJ did, just make it a better version. Um, and so, you know, as a prime timeline stuff, none of this stuff works, because it's clearly wrong, but we've accepted that several months ago, so for us, it's like, well, how does this rebooted Trek look? It looks, these, I mean, this picture with, with three props on the table, and, and the combat just all look pretty good. So, from mm -hmm. that rebooted, quasi-Star Trek feel, good job, guys. From Prime Timeline, yeah. why didn't you use what exists? Um, yeah. 
you know, although obviously we didn't see a cage tricorder, so there, there was nothing. Um, True. And how do you go proto of uh, the TOS one? Yeah, it, 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 that's a hard one. So considering the challenge, they did a great job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm looking at it, going, and I don't see any, like, op compartments that open unless they're on the back, because we don't really have a oh, shot backs. of it from, from yeah, the back. Kind of. But I'm just wondering where they're going to keep the little scanner device, because uh, you don't want that separate as it's kind of bulky. Well, now, the, the, the one thing we've seen them carry it in is yes. the desert, desert gear is what it's called. So, I mean, that's very... <sighs> Not Star Trek ish. It's got, it's got a buckle <laughs> thing that reminds me yeah. of just a mil modern military thing. Yeah, exactly. Or, or cage, it. or close to cage. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah. Thematically, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. And it doesn't look like the tricorder is going to have any straps of any kind. It looks like it's going to be held in a holster of some kind. Uh, um, I, I think it's too early to tell. I mean, they could easily just throw yeah. one over a shoulder if they wanted to. Um, yeah. Hmm. So, uh, one of the things. Oh, you're gonna. You're gonna say well, something. I want to jump back to the the, the back because I think having the yeah. it be on the back is actually perfect. If you imagine it's being flipped, you've got a little compartment. This slides in. You have a little button that just comes out. And on the other half of the of the machine, you've got three like hatches that you can open up, and there's wires, and that's the visual continuity. And they can you know be fixing it, and I think that would work really well. Work really yeah. well. Yeah. Um, and one thing you had mentioned earlier is have that classic look from a distance, even up close, kind of yeah. have that visual tie-in. But when you operate it or when you open it, have mm -hmm. something that looks modern and futuristic. And yeah. I think this next picture that shows the display on, Oof. which I was quite lucky to find. I was just looking for pictures of the tricorder and found this. And I'm like, is that the actual one? And I compared it and it's like, yeah, it's the actual one. Um, I don't know exactly if this is supposed to be out there or not but we found it so we're going to use it well, yeah. <laughs> if you look in the background there's there's discovery stuff in the background too well if you've like, noticed so. they they have actually released quite a lot of images now on the sets thanks to that uh, recent interview mm -hmm. package so a lot of little old pieces like got good looks of the corridors yeah. even just a behind the scenes people on the corridors um yeah. so this feels like one of those sorts of ones so what do you think i mean we know the tos um is a little rotated well, that's the communicator. I mean, it's just it's just a thing that displays whatever they want when they superimpose them in post. That was how they did it in TOS, I guess. Yeah. What do you think of this? Even though even though Spock always had a blank screen when he had it facing the audience. Yeah. He was always looking at it upside down. That always bugged me. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, you could you could rotate the screen, I'm sure, and you know. Yeah. Whatever, but well, to, I mean, can... to, that was his way, wasn't it? It was like, let's look at it. But he's probably got it set so he can only see it from his perspective, and it's just one of those like those computer monitors that you can't see unless you're like right in front of well, it. Well, it's like having a window. If you have a window on your ship, then the the enemy can just zoom right in via their view screen and see all of your dials on the bridge and know exactly what's happening. Rather or you than... can hold it like this towards you, so they can't see it anyway. Well, it's like I guess it instead of it. yes, Captain. But I, I, mean, I guess. It... Yeah, but then the prop looks more interesting to the camera. <laughs> I, mean, I know, just... but then put something on the screen, because the screen was always blank. I mean, at least that has something cool. I'm a fan of Elkars, and I love this yes, on yes. here. I wish that they would have incorporated that in the remastered, put something on the screens of the tricorder oh, while he was tricky, looking at it. That's a tricky equation to do. I'm, sh I'm sure it is, but it would have improved it a yeah. thousandfold for well, me. Hey, TOS 4K, when they eventually do it, they can they properly will. improve everything. Um, yeah. Like, yeah. properly. But what do you but, think of this display, Stuart? <laughs> this I like. This I like. I, I, lo I love modern kind of tech gadgets. I love watches yeah. and phones and all the cool stuff. Yeah. This I love this diagram, this chart. I mean, you can see the tie-in with the um, buttons on or the uh, displays from the, the Shinzo that we've looked at and things mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got the TOS font for those numbers. So, I mean, this looks fantastic. Oh, cool. huh. And I, I, really like, I really like that. I'm looking forward to getting a prop of this. Uh, hmm. And I think I think this is properly done and looks exquisite. I think it's awesome. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of the tricorder for sure. I, I think this is another one of those pieces, and we mentioned this in our last series of Discovery videos. Is it a JJ series? Is it a Tony New Universe? Is it Prime? Is it a TOS sequel? Is it a prequel? Or is it an X1 sequel? I think this is clearly an X1 sequel prop in how they took the design. Uh, the NX1 had a different sort of uh, device, but it looked more advanced. But then you take those sorts of ideas, update it with the shape of TOS. I mean, that's mm -hmm. a very NX01 display in terms of the colors and the interface, mm -hmm. just given a more boxy look like TOS. So again, yeah. if it was NX1 sequel, it's pretty much perfect for that. 
Um, but obviously as a TOS prop, it again it's it's, it's reboot, it's re reimagined. Um, very generic. I mean, it looks like Dark Matter, looks like Stargate, looks like yeah. Yeah. There's nothing about that display that says Star Trek whatsoever. I would love to have seen multiple color pieces, um, but again, it's a display. I mean, the point of Michael Kudra, you know, his display sort of set the groundwork of yeah. a display that has a functional, make sense, but also you don't get as many, you know, actual screens with diagrams. You get a lot of buttons and button. You know, this one button tells you the torpedoes are down to ten, whatever. So like, well, that's not really. But at least it looked functional. Um, but at this point, what is a Trek? Aesthetic in terms of old cars, they're each era dependent. Yeah. I mean, that would fit beautifully in the NX1 era, so it's it Star Trek well, cars in that way, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You know what really interests me as you were talking? I'm looking at this going, one thing that interests me about this piece of tech we see from the Discovery is the fact that there's no delta on it, unless <gasps> it's on the back. It's, Stuart, it's on the back. It has to be. Oh, it's, good. <laughs> it's on the back. They have a delta <laughs> everything. Because they delta everything, and I expected at least one on the front. There's lots of room on the front here, they could have done it. I mean, how do they know what we're how do we know what we're looking at if we don't have a delta on it? It must be a Klingon tricorder, apparently. Like seriously. Yes. Well, also, you can tell they're not confident in their, some of their designs just because <laughs> the way they're doing yeah. some of stuff. So. Also, the size is not quite as big as a TOS tricorder by the looks of it. If you look at the thumb, it's kind of. Hmm. You know, this one's a lot taller. Hmm. Uh, it looks like they've squat the size down a little bit, which I don't have a problem with. More compact, it's easier to carry. Um, so, I mean, that's something that's worth pointing out. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I'm really impressed with it, and I really want a prop of it when it mm. comes out. This and the hand phaser. Uh, and the communicator, actually. The communicator is nice, too. So, yeah, yeah I, I'm, looking I'm looking forward to seeing a lot more of this tricorder, because I, I, I dig it. Yeah, I, I said I want one of those phaser props, because they're yeah. cool. Yeah, um, like I say, final thoughts, it's a cool... Trek looking design. Absolutely. Not Star Trek per se, <laughs> but it's a cool Trek looking design. This would be perfectly this would be per this would be perfect for an Orville tricorder. Yeah. It's reminiscently yeah. Star Trek, but not for the Tenny Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. So there you have it guys. A look at the tricorder. Um like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm I'm very, quite impressed with it. Oh I can't wait to see the big huge delta that they're gonna have on the back of it. Maybe they're going to have a shoulder strap that's made of all those little deltas. Ooh. Well, then that would, that probably that would be creative to, to that team that want to put deltas everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. But um, what do you guys think? Do you like the tricorder? Do you not like the tricorder? Could it be improved? Should it be improved? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. And looking forward to reading those. So, yeah. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you in the future because we got a lot more stuff coming out eventually. Yes, sometime. this is your place to go for discovery analysis, reviews, breakdowns, theories, and more. And we, we like to think a fair look at. We call out the good, we call out the bad. We call out the ugly. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> we just call it like it is. You know, and when they do something right, boy, do we want to tell them because it, it's mm -hmm. a Star Trek at the end of the day and we, wanna, we want it to be amazing. So, yeah. Absolutely. So until next time, guys, I'm Captain Foley. And I am Commander Coffins. And we will see you soon. Bye, guys.